Have a good day! Today, LA Beast here, and today I have two goals. One is to take these coins in my piggy bank and eat them to become the first ever human piggy bank. And two, to set a new Guinness World Record for the shiniest and most expensive bowel movement in the history of bowel movements. Ah, when these coins decide to explosively exit my rear end 24 hours from now, when I'm sitting on the toilet. Why? in the name of human science. Now before we get started, I would just like to explain the dangers of ingesting foreign objects into your body. For instance, some coins contain metals that when ingested and touched with your stomach acid can actually burn a hole through your stomach. And if high powered magnets are your non-food item of choice, those can actually tear through your intestines, causing major damage if not surgically removed. Now let's not forget about trying to swallow an object that is too big that gets stuck in your GI tract, blocking your airway, which can royally 100% f*** you up. So today, in order to become a human piggy bank, I've decided to ingest as many US dimes into my body as I possibly can, because it's small enough to where I feel like I won't choke, and it doesn't contain metals that are toxic that could possibly burn a hole through my stomach. And to help me get them down a little bit easier, I'm going to dunk each dime in this olive oil. I also thought it would be cool to see if metal foreign body objects can be detected inside the body. So I went out and bought this sweet, badass metal detector. And you can, you can clearly see it picks up the dimes. You can pick up metal and I just want to see if there's any metal in my stomach already. And no, there clearly is no metal in my stomach. Without further ado, I am the LA Beast, and I'm about to become a human piggy bank. Have a good day! This is probably going to be a very quick challenge. Oh boy. Just gonna tilt my head back. Oh god, taste metallic. First time went down, I could feel it going down my esophagus <laughs> and potentially already getting lodged in the GI tract where they said objects may or may not get stuck. <clears throat> I mean, at least I at least gotta get ten of these. Oh. Alright, great. Two dimes down. For those of you who don't can't see, that is what a US dime looks like. Actually very small. The least metallic. Actually the oil is helping them go down a lot faster. Yes. Dimes are made out of I think 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. Uh, enough talk, more action. All right. Yes, I think I did actually wake up. I don't know, I was at the gym the other day and they actually sell these pills that are made out of 24 karat gold. You take that pill and you shit gold. So I just figured, hey, instead of spending $400 on a pill, let's get $15 from the bank and shit out a $15 bowel movement. Okay. Hi, dude. I can pick up the pace here. The, ol the olive oil is actually helping them slide down. Whew. <clears throat> I can feel it. I can feel it dying right there. I can feel them like going down my esophagus. And yes, absolutely, anybody at home do not do this. I actually did very extensive research and I'm really glad I did. 
Uh, I was going to do this with pennies until I found out uh, the major the major dangers of swallowing just one penny. So thank goodness I did my research for kids or anybody. Do not try to do this at home. Oh. Okay, that one's going to get lodged. Ugh. I know in competitive eating, sometimes during the competitions, I would just loosen up my, my throat muscles to help the food go down faster. Okay. Ugh. Three more, and I'll, this is a dollar. I'm gonna eat a dollar. That was right there. All right, so I just ate 10 dimes. I think I'll try and get another five or 10, but my concern, my concern is that some of these dimes actually get stuck inside your body and uh, they get lodged there and cause major issues and problems. So I don't really want to have too many, but I'm the LA beast. I don't have a choice. That looks lodged. Uh, uh. Yeah, we'll do one without the oil to see if it makes a difference. Oh yeah, it makes a difference. Oh yeah, it makes a difference. <laughs> okay. I think... Uh, if you're going to ingest foreign body... Nah, I can't even speak. If you're going to ingest foreign body objects into your body, especially coins, make sure to lubricate them with oil. Stop being a bitch. Dimes, I may stop just because I have no. Yeah, I guess it is humanly possible to consume objects that are not food, but I have no idea how this is going to pass through my body, if it will pass through my body. I think the worst case scenario that I read uh, you have to get these surgically removed. Uh, so I think I'll stop after two dollars worth of dimes. Okay. Finish like a man. Uh, okay. Uh. Okay. I'm eating dimes right now. For the sheer fact that I just want to be a human piggy bank. Two more. Uh, uh, that's a dime. That is a real US dime. Yeah, I feel them. I can feel them. I think, I think, uh, alright, I, I just consumed two dollars worth of US dimes, or 20 dimes, and the one that I had when I practiced before, and I guess I'll just explain what I'm feeling, I can feel dimes, it's kind of like, uh, it's like when you're going through a toll booth and there's a backup, I feel like there's a backup of dimes just right there, it's not really blocking my airway so I can still breathe. But I can feel them like slowly starting to go down, go down whatever my esophagus into my GI tract. There we go, that one's lodged in my throat. 
Yeah, I can just feel them going down. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that consuming more than like one coin can potentially be very hazardous to my health. So I'm going to stop. We're just doing this as part of a human experiment, basically to see if I can shit out dimes in my bowel movement. Okay. I'm going to test out, test this bad boy out to see if the metal de going to see if the metal detector okay okay right I'm going to see if the metal detector will pick up the dimes in my throat and or my stomach okay just to show that this is still on let's see if this metal detector picks up the dimes No way! No way, dude! That's so cool! No way! I just ate 20 dimes and the metal detector is picking up the dimes in my stomach. I can feel the dimes going down my throat, like right in this area. That's insane. That is, that is absolutely insane. Okay, I guess I am now officially a human piggy bank. Now, we wait. It's been about an hour uh, since I finished ingesting all 20 of those dimes. And I probably really should have heeded those warnings. Those dimes are, I can feel like my, my, whenever I take a breath, it's kind of like a whistling noise because I'm pretty sure that these dimes are blocking my uh, my airway passage. I'm not f***ing around anymore. I think I'm just gonna go and at least go to the hospital or urgent care and, and, and just make sure that I'm okay just to take the necessary precautions. Luckily the hospital's right down the road. Give them a call and let them know what I just did. I'm at the St. John's Health Center. If this is a medical emergency, hang up and dial 911 now. To reach a specific department, uh, press 1. I'm not really sure if this is a medical emergency. Sorry, St. John's Health Center. Uh, hi, is this the this the hospital in Santa Monica? Uh, yes, sir. How can I help you? Um, I'm the LA Beast. I'm a competitive eater on YouTube, and I just consumed 21 coins, and I'm a little concerned about about my Sorry. health. Coins? What? Coins? Coins, as in like dimes and pennies and nickels and quarters. Coins, and I just. Uh, dimes. Stop. Sir, you consumed how many dimes did you consume? Tw 21 dimes. Okay, um, sir, please, uh, uh, come to the emergency room. That, that, I do not know why you did that, sir. You should uh, not be consuming, consuming any sort of, sort of, of, of coins or, or anything, any foreign objects. Uh, well, I'm the LA Beast, and I did it uh, in the name of human science. So I just, uh... Um, Alright, sir, I, I don't know why you did that, um, but it's my job to instruct you to please come to the emergency room, and, uh, you can get the proper x-rays and, uh, get you the, the care you need, because you should not have consumed 21, 21 dimes, or any dimes for that matter. Well, I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I'm going to head into the emergency room. Hello Beast here. I just ingested 21 dimes and uh, I'm here in the emergency room about to get an x-ray just to, to make sure nothing is lodged where it shouldn't be lodged. I feel fine just trying to take the necessary precautions. So yeah, I get to wear this sweet hospital gown. Stay tuned. Just had the x-rays done. They did my chest, uh, lower abdomen from the side. Uh, and there's definitely some foreign objects in there. Just waiting for the doctor to get back to review the images and put this human science case study to rest. So stay tuned. Just went over with the kind doctor and we looked at the x-ray uh, analysis and there's like six dimes that were visible uh, in the x-ray in my stomach. So 
there's like 15 dimes missing and it's very interested to see where those are and, and uh, if and when they come out but yes as of right now the doctor told me to just go home and uh, keep an eye on my bowel movements to, to, to make sure everything's passing and that's the whole goal because I want to have the most expensive and shiniest bowel movement in existence so uh, I'll keep you posted Good day, LA Beast here. Uh, it's a brand new day and I'm sitting here on the toilet uh, because the doctor told me to keep an eye out on my bowel movements to make sure the dimes are passing, so that's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> I feel Okay, I can feel dimes. Whoa! Whoa! I think I can feel the dimes touching my butthole as they're coming out of my butt. Uh, okay, one second. Let me, let me uh, check this out. One second. Wow, this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, in the past, I've eaten things such as crayons and pooped out a rainbow. Or I drink a bottle of Elmer's glue, and if you do that, your poop is going to be white. Um, but yeah, last night I ingested 21 US dimes, or coins, into my body, and in the name of human science, this is what it looks like when it comes back out the other end. Human science. Um, yeah, we'll show it real quick. I don't want to get graphic here, but you can clearly see there is a dime, like right there. There's one clustered in there, and there, and a few right there. So yes, that is what it looks like. Um, sorry, that is what it looks like in your bowel movement if you ingest 21 dimes. And I think I'm a dollar and 50 cents short. So it actually costs you money to ingest coins into your body. So on that note, kids, I love you. Only you can prevent forest fires, and of course, have a good day. All that I want is a crystal Pepsi to share with you. I haven't been the same since 92. All that I want is a crystal Pepsi. Yeah, you know it's true. I've never seen something that tastes like you.